come back in the kitchen one more time with Chef Ricardo cooking program guys today we're going to show you how you can make yourself a nice lovely simple Jamaican homemade hardwood bread hopefully you will enjoy the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program we got a lot more recipe coming up for you get a copy of my cooking book it is out and Amazon thank you lovely and nice so as today guys we're going to show you how you can make yourself a nice lovely loaf of bread at home um, basically some people use bread flour some people use plain flour um, I'm using the mix of bread flour bread flour you can get it at any local market supermarket or big shop ready for shop you go you can get um, bread roll mix but you can also use plain flour if you want to use some plain flour at home and do the same thing it don't make the difference but I did have a pack of bread flour and I say I'm gonna make uh, bread a loaf of bread from it a Jamaican Ottawa bread um, basically someone requested it and I wanted to make it and get it that's they can really happy with it um this is East this is what make the dough rise is that's really good and that's what we're gonna use inside of it so right here this is my little ball right here um basically i'm gonna use some lukewarm water i just boiled some water in my kettle and i said i'm gonna use it that's one glass of water and i'm gonna use one and a half glass of lukewarm water um you can put it in the microwave and microwave it for about a minute or 50 seconds because you don't want it too hot you just need it lukewarm but i did boil some water in my kettle before and i said i just gonna do that um basically what i'm gonna do now as you can see a little steam coming from it so it's not too bad i'm gonna put one one and a half teaspoon of white granulated sugar and also we're gonna put some salt This is half teaspoon of salt inside of the water. Just simply give it a little stir like this. Just to dissolve it and it will do help the yeast to right to more. You will see some bubble come from the yeast when you put it inside of it. That's mean the yeast is gonna be working through it. Um, basically a pack of yeast will work out to a te teaspoon. So that's one pack and we're gonna use three packs because to the amount of flour which we are using sometimes two packs do work but i'm gonna use three packs because you can see it went over a pound of it a flour um then basically we're gonna put a teaspoon of butter inside of it and simple does give it a nice little stir like this so I did get the request and I said to myself I need to make this bread for this person and um also I have another request for some peanut porridge which I need to make so these things it takes a little time but I will definitely make it nice and lovely so basically I'm just gonna leave this for roughly about a uh, 50 minutes or roughly about 20 minutes or 30 minutes make it ease one dissolve inside of it so guys as you can see all you start the process of making a nice loaf of bread at home with the ease and also with the water lukewarm water you don't need hot water but as you can see, it start to start to get bubble up inside of it. That means the ease is working with the salt and the sugar and the butter. So that's good, guys. That's the first process of starting the bread roll mix. Right over here, um, this is the bread roll mix which I'm using inside of this bread roll mix. It got herbs inside of it. So sometimes you go to the shop, you can get all different kind. You get some with herb, you get some with plain as get some with cheese you get some with all kind 
it's up to you you can add anything inside of your bread when you want to make your bread and as i say you can use plain flour all you need to do is just get one pound of plain flour and do the same thing while i'm doing if you don't have bread roll mix at home so guys hopefully you will be the recipe will be a benefit for you and help you to make yourself a nice lovely loaf of bread nice and lovely so we're gonna start the process of making this bread roll now the basic thing i want to simply say to you as you can see how fraughty the water together with the yeast and the butter and everything that's working together so let's put this at the side this is one pound of bread roll mix which is going to be probably 500 gram of flour as i say you can use plain flour at home guys it's fine to use plain flour but i have this pack of bread roll mix and i just use it you can go to any local shop and ask for bread roll mix you get them in brown and you get them in white you get them in all kind of color it all depends what kind of color you like so what we're gonna do now probably don't take the whole of this water but take your time and add it just like this inside of it as you can see exactly what I'm doing right here so basically I want to say it do takes all of it so that's fine that's good that's exactly what you need nice and lovely the only thing is that you have to mess up your hand for about a minute but what we're gonna do now is basically simple this is exactly what I'm talking about what you can do this pan Let's pop a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil inside of it or some butter. Grease it up just like this. But the only problem is that you're gonna mess up your hand for a minute, guys. Seriously. But that's fine. Then we're gonna get a little bit of flour. The only problem is that I don't have any more plain flour leaves. So what basically it will be fine. All I have to do is simple. Put it on on this thing like this, guys. Please, if you got some plain flour or, or some flour the simple put some flour on it and leave it forget it for a minute stick it not so sticky but what we're gonna do now is basically simple cover it with a piece of a wet cloth like this with wet dish towel or wet tablecloth whatever you like and just put it somewhere really warm for roughly one hour so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put it on top of my stove just like this for an hour and leave it my stove is on but i turn it down low because i want to eat so i'm just gonna leave that for an hour and come back towards it enjoy the recipe guys i love it so what happened now guys this is how it look But you know what happened? To be honest, this is how it look, and as you can see, looking lovely and nice. 
Um, but basically, I don't have any more flower leaves, so I transfer it into another shaving pan with some oil. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it in my oven and I gas mark six or seven for 30 minutes and get it really big. So, as you can see, if you have a bread tray, you can put it into a bread tray, but I'm just gonna put it in the oven just like this, guys, and you're gonna see the difference when it's finished. So, as you see, Hopefully you will like the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching the cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you. Bye bye. Nice and lovely as I can see all the bread. Look inside. Look at that guys. That is beautiful. I'm gonna take it out now. I'm just gonna take it out. Roughly 25 to 30 minutes now. I have it inside of the oven and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. That is exactly I'm gonna take out this bread now. It's finished. It is finished now.